Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through a live stream. Please take a moment to silence. Our gathering chant this morning is number 447 in the Catholic Book of Worship, A Living Faith, 447. Our presider today is Father Ray Earl. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Joyous welcome to as we gather on this beautiful morning to celebrate our Eucharist. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Barnabas, Barnabas, who is counted as an apostle of Christ, although not one of the twelve, uh, like St. Paul. He was an apostle to the Gentiles and was the servant of the gospel. Let us prepare our hearts as we celebrate worthily these sacred mysteries. We ask God's mercy and forgiveness. We prepare our hearts. You were sent to heal the contrite of Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be but be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Antioch, a great number of the Hellenists became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For Barnabas was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarshish to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod, the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Sing to the
from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus sent the twelve out with the following instructions. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for the journey, or two tunics or sandals or a staff, for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. In the course of the years, I have celebrated many, many, many funeral masses. And I always try to get a sense of the person's life if I don't know who the person is, because of course, time to time in, in uh, parishes and so on, we don't know a family member so very well. And so I try to talk, to speak with the family and listen to their stories, what they tell me about who this person is whom they loved. And uh, I've sometimes thought to myself, I wonder what somebody is going to say at my funeral. <laughs> what will they say about me? Today, in the first reading, we hear a little bit about Barnabas and what he did with his life, that he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit. I, I like that description of someone. I hope that somebody would be able to say that about me when I die, that I was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit. Maybe we can ask ourselves today, as we celebrate the feast, the memorial, rather, of St. Barnabas, uh, what are people going to say about us? How have we lived our life? How have we fulfilled the call of God to us in our baptism? What will somebody say about you when you die? Hopefully, people will say, well, that person was a good witness of faith. That person was alive in the Holy Spirit and passed on the faith by what they said and did. Wouldn't that be a wonderful tribute to any of us? Uh, at the moment when we leave this world, if somebody can say that about us. And certainly that is the call to all of us in our baptism. We are called to spread the gospel by the way we live, no matter what our walk of life, no matter what work we do, we're called to live out the gospel, the values of the gospel in our lives. When I was in the seminary, certainly a long time ago now, there were seven of us who began, and there were others in the formation house. And you know, today, I'm the only one left ordained of all of the group that were in the seminary with me. Uh, I'm the only person left uh, ordained in ministry. There is a religious brother, a redemptorist brother, who was part of my class, was one of my classmates, who is still uh, a brother today. And often I ponder why did God choose me to do what I'm doing? I don't know. Why am I still here? And many of them are either dead or uh, have not uh, continued on in the priesthood. And for ourselves, 
you know, we are the only ones who can do what God is calling us to do. For all of you, you are the only one that has the gifts and talents that God is calling you to live. It's a beautiful tribute to you as a person that you're able to fulfill the will of God and the will of God in your life every day. As we celebrate this feast of St. Barnabas, may we live the call of the gospel in our lives in our own unique and particular way. May God bless us as we strive to live the gospel every day. And hopefully someday someone will say of us, he's a good man or a good woman filled with the Holy Spirit and did a good job. Let us stand now for the prayer of intercession as we implore the intercession of St. Barnabas. Let us pray for the church in the world that it may be a visible sign of God's presence, we pray to the Lord. For the shepherds of our souls that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to their care, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the world, especially for peace in the troubled spots of our world, that God's peace will reign, we pray to the Lord. For those who are seeking gainful work, those who are looking for employment opportunities that the Lord will provide and that we will work together to build a just society, we pray to the Lord. For this parish family and for those who are present here today, for our families, that God will bless them in every way, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and the suffering, those recommended to our prayers, we pray to the Lord. And tomorrow there will be a funeral here in the Basilica at 11 o'clock for Michael Stead Crawford. We pray for his repose, we pray for his family, that God will grant them comfort and consolation in their faith. And for all of the deceased, especially the intentions of today's Mass, we pray for Lorraine Lush, Mary Hearn Hendela, and John Ide. For them we pray to the Lord. And let us pause for a moment to recommend to the Lord any of our own special needs. Dear loving, gracious God, hear the prayers of your people as we come before you this morning on this beautiful day. We thank you for the many gifts you give us. Bless us always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set on fire 
with the flame of your love by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on the ap apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all who minister to your people. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember especially the intentions of today's Mass. Welcome them all, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Barnabas, and all of the saints who have pleased you down through the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Imploring the intercession of St. Barnabas, let us pray now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the, the word, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. This morning is number 6.1 
in the Celebrate in Song 6.1. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled. Through Christ our Lord, amen. So the funeral for Michael Stead Crawford will be held tomorrow, as I mentioned, at 11 a.m., but the Mass will go ahead as usual at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I wish you a blessed day, everyone. Enjoy the sunshine and the warmth today. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is number 6.28 in the Celebrate in Song. Go make of all disciples. 6.28. <clears throat> Oh!